you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. As you guys can see, we're, we're warming up the ATV. We're setting up our fishing hut and we're going out to go do some splake and perch fishing. Um, we actually got up pretty late, so we have only a couple hours um, of fishing today, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. I think we're going to find some fish. Uh, Aaron and I are up here for two days and uh, the main goal of this trip was to get on some splake. Um, I've caught splake here. The thing is that I haven't really dialed them in. So um, we're going to be running and gunning. I'm not sure how much today, but within these two days, we're going to be running and gunning, looking for some splake. And hopefully we can maybe break my personal best um, of 21 and a half inches. So that's the goal. It's a pretty big goal to set for two days. But um, I mean, we're going to see how, how it goes. So we're going to settle this up and we're going to go hit the ice. So we didn't realize that we were going to be encountering two feet of snow in a nice slushy top layer. So um, the whole running and gunning thing is not going to happen on an ATV this weekend. Um, the only reason we got out here, we actually left on the ATV from my, from my cottage. But <laughs> we got about 10 feet and realized that our feet are in snow on the ATV. So we turned back around. The only reason we got out is actually we came out from a common path that these actually permanent huts have been using. Um, but yeah, the ATV, as you guys can see, is sitting over there on the path. And we can't really go out onto the main lake with it at all. If we had a snowmobile, we could, but not with the ATV. So we're going to be limited to the spots we can go to. Uh, but we're starting off here at a community honey hole that I usually fish. Uh, see if we can whack a couple fish to begin with. What is it, 14? 14.2. What's the bottom like? Uh, there's fish on it. It looks soft. Soft. This is sand bottom here. I actually fish a lot here for bass. I was hoping it'd be like 10 feet. You want to start here and see? Sure. We can always move, right? Yep. All right, let's start here and see. You get one? Yeah. <laughs> nice! First fish of the day. Yeah, oh, I missed one, Aaron! <laughs> we just got them fired up. I just missed one, dude. I love whitefish and trout fishing, but <laughs> there's something about good old perch fishing. It's just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> it's just dumb fun. So like I said, we're the main purpose of this weekend, I guess, is to go splake fishing. But, <laughs> as you guys saw, um, the ATV won't really be able to do us any good this weekend. We're gonna, we're not, we can't go to the places we want to go. I'm hoping that throughout the weekend the snowmobiles kind of make a trail to the areas we want to go and we can kind of use that. But still, like, it's, it's two feet of snow, but the issue is, is that slush layer. Um, that's giving us a really, really hard time. But... I mean, I've caught plenty of spikes, like right, right where we're sitting right now. Yeah. Plenty of spikes. My PV came from this exact spot. I was 12 feet of water. So, I mean, we're still in for, uh, for a treat, hopefully. Um, there's also one more area that we will walk out to that I lost a huge fish on a jaw jacker. Like, zzzz, and then gone, right? So, um, we'll go there as well. I've caught spike there as well. So, I mean, I just want to kind of get the... Ooh, I just kind of want to get the whole like catching fish out of the way a little bit. I want to catch them and then we can kind of, you know, get fancy, get fancy. I'm going to get smoked right now. Oh, you get, he bit you. There you go. There you go. I'm stuck on bottom. Stuck on the ice. Yeah. What do I do? <laughs> oh, I see my fish. <laughs> Pop him out with the, the scoop. I see my fish. Oh, I got him. I got him. 
Nice! <laughs> oh, what the fat is. <laughs> nice. That's Bruno if he was a fish. This is my dog if it was a fish. See that bead right there, guys? That's exactly why I fished this bait. I don't care. Actually, I do care about the about the silver blue, but it's the bead that gets them. And last year, every single fish I caught was off this back hook with the bead on it. So, fish right there. <laughs> All right, let's put Chunky Little Perch back down. Thank you, sir. Let Bruno swim another day. Let Bruno swim another day. Named after my dog. This is so much fun. <laughs> All right, let's go back down. It bites so lightly. Nice. Oh, he, got, he, he bit the metal part. <laughs> he got he, he bit the actual like full bait. The Look spoon. at that. He bit the spoon part. Yeah. Nice. Meow. <laughs> Nailed. There you go. <laughs> They're fired up right now, dude. <laughs> they love that spoon. The bead. Key. Key. So key. It's so key. It's flashy and it's beady. Mm -hmm. Flashy and beady. It's like, it's like getting a rack with like meat, but some good guacamole too. Like meat and cheese. Meat and guacamole. And guacamole. You need the meat and the veggie. You know what I mean? Which one's the veggie? Is the spoon the veggie? Or the no, meat? no, the bead's the veggie. The spoon's the, the meat of the rack. So I be the one that just ate the... Yes, you were like my second last fish. Yeah, he just literally just ate me. Yes. <laughs>see we are back at the house blast fishing for perch i haven't fished for perch at all this year um they're not simco giants simco jumbles or anything like that but they're a lot a lot of fun and um as you guys saw a lot of people got stuck out there today we almost got stuck out there today uh, like i said there's about two feet of snow but the issue is below the snow there's like a foot of slush and you're fine on a sled but on, a, on, a, on an atv you actually break through so it's a little bit harder to get out good thing we have that little road heading out to the to the middle of the lake uh that helps out a lot because we wouldn't have been able to get on the lake with the atv at all I'm not quite sure what the game plan for tomorrow is yet. I think we're going to stay a little shallower, try for some shallow splake. Um, but we're going to discuss that all later. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was fun just to get out and, you know, whack a bunch of fish. I'm going to leave the links to the rod, reel, and line down below in the description, along with the bait I used. Um, as you guys saw, they were absolutely munching it. And, I mean, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I actually broke my mic on this camera, so the next couple of videos, there won't be a good mic. But um, hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Testing with broken mic. Testing with broken mic.